Woo! Mother Nature's not done with us yet, people. Hey Billy, I got some treats for you. Hello piglets. <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> Bobby, you keep it warm big guy. <laughs> you got yourself a nice little spot there bud. Yeah, you got a nice little spot. Billy, I got you some watermelon. Hey, you want a one dollar watermelon? Here. Here. I know you like watermelon. That's one of your favorites, huh? How about you guys? You want a watermelon? Huh, I know you do. You guys like watermelon, don't you? Who wants watermelon? Come on. Billy, you're almost done, eh? You love it? <laughs> I know you love it. How about you, Bubby? What are you doing? Why are you throw it out there? What are you doing? Don't make a mess. The pigs even eat the rind of the watermelon. You know, Billy will put her one foot on it and then like really go at it. It's like, I don't know, they just, I guess it tastes good for them and they eat anything. Here you go, piglets. Wow, you guys really ate that watermelon to bits, eh? Wow, here. Oh, you guys are hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. You're almost done, eh, Billy? <laughs> Gonna give you some kibble after, okay? You guys don't want water? Here, I'm gonna mix the water in, okay? I got a posting out on Kijiji for these piglets, and I'm gonna start off, sell them for $100 each, try to make sure I can move them and not scare away any early customers. And I'm sure the spotted one and the black one will sell first. There's another one that has a little bit spots, but not a lot of spots. Those always are the ones that people want. These guys are like weaned, you know, like they're just eating this solid foods. I'm still going to keep Billy separated because, you know, Billy's lost a lot of weight from all the, the nursing. And the piglets, they grow so fast. Like, look at the size of these guys. They're only a couple months. So Billy needs a break from them. That's why she's separated. And I mean, that's the weaning process anyhow. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can sell some of these, make a tiny little bit of money and find them great family homes at the same time. You eat up, okay, Billy? You finish all that food, okay? Look, you got watermelon all over your face. <laughs> You're such a pig. You got watermelon all over your face. <laughs> you want an apple too, Billy? You can eat that later, okay? Okay, I gotta go do the rest of the chores, okay? You finish your food. What a day so far. <laughs> Got the tractor out, we're gonna do some snow clearing. But well, that's nothing that you guys need to see. It's slowing down now. It was a big storm last night, and I mean, the dogs don't mind, but I'll keep the cats in the cat house because I don't, really like the cats being around when there's a tractor going with the you know it's just I'm worried like the dogs are trained to stay away from you know the machinery but the cats sometimes I see them climbing all over the thing and this is very dangerous you don't want you know there to be any accidents 
I just worry about that. For those interested, it's minus five Celsius right now. It's nice for you guys who are following along to understand the temperatures here and compare it to where you guys are around the world. But I'll put the Fahrenheit up on the screen as I normally try to remember to do. Got lots of food here for the ducks too. The duck uh, feeder was almost empty, so I stopped by and picked up seven bags. Four bags fit in that duck feeder, and then it's just a couple extra bags for the geese or the chickens or whatever. Fun times at the farm. You wanna play Kong? Ready? She's so fast. She's so, so, so fast. I will go in and hang out with the cats for a while though. Cause you know, there's a lot of people that love the cats and I love the cats. And regardless if I'm filming or not, I always spend time with them. You know, so that they won't forget me. <laughs> I got a couple other bits of news to share with you. Just let me deal with this duck food and then I'll explain to you what happened over the past couple days. I'm coming ducks. I got food for you, okay? <laughs> you guys are all hungry, huh? Just a few days ago when I filmed the last Thursday video, <laughs> remember I took that tree down. I can't even get in here to clean it up now with the wood chipper. I was gonna take the snow blower off my tractor and then put the wood chipper on. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't do that because all this snow came and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> You're a high jumper. <laughs> You're a high jumper. Molly, you can't do that, huh? You can't do that. <laughs> Olive, you're such an athlete. Yeah. I know, you want to play Kong. I know, I know, I'm busy. Look, you keep burying it in there. Okay, here's the deal. This gander that I got right here, this guy is from the goose caboose. You know how in the goose caboose we have two girls and two boys. And honestly, when they get into breeding season, they're a little rowdy. So I'm moving this guy over to the security goose booth in the chicken yard because, let me explain. So this guy in there, he's just getting used to his new surroundings. He's one of the ganders from the other goose caboose. Let's close the door. I don't need to stand there with the door open while he gets adjusted to his new home. I know you want to protect me, 
but I don't need protection. Okay? I don't need protection from the geese from you, okay? I know you're such a sweetie. So the one gander that we did have in this security booth, <laughs> we got rid of him, okay? The other day, I got rid of him. He was way, way, way over the top aggressive. And I mean, anybody who's been following me for a little while, you guys know been dealing with those two geese that we had in there. We cooked one of them and now we cooked the other one. These lovely old English sheepdogs benefit because they just had three slow cooker meals of goose, fresh goose and bok choy and carrots and a whole bunch of other stuff my darling puts in there. So the dogs are eating well tonight. <laughs> now it's been a while that I've been wanting to lessen one gander in the goose caboose. So I'm gonna try keeping the one gander with the two geese and they're laying eggs right now and everything like that. But I just took one of the ganders over into the security booth and we'll see how that goes. You know, you need to find the right balance. And part of that balance is limiting how many ganders you have. And geese are just one of those animals that are just relentlessly overprotective of their clutch of eggs. And it's just something anybody who's raising geese for any reason has to deal with that. So I'll see how that guy does in the security booth. And those ducks that are in there, those three drakes, their days are numbered anyway. They'll just be meat ducks because we have far too many drakes. I think I'm gonna have to call some of the drakes in here too. I know some of you will say, well, why don't you just sell them? Well, it's very difficult to sell boy ducks. Nobody wants too many boys in their flock. And anytime anybody hatches eggs, there's always extra boys. Life is all good in the chicken house here. Everybody, of course, is wanting to get outside, and now they can't with all this snow. Oh, hello, Ann. Why well, you guys are laying all the eggs in one nest? This one's empty, this one's empty, but they all want to lay in the same nest. Chickens are so funny. Hopefully this little bit of snow that we had won't deter them from their spring egg production. Are you okay there? I'm gonna close it up. Okay, you stay there. Always something to do on the farm. Gotta keep these feed bins full. Holy dusty! Woo! It's the five grain scratch. It's so dusty. <laughs> And my hands are ice cold now. I thought spring was here. No, oh, still got more this winter to deal with. You guys all okay? <laughs> About the light Sussex. <laughs> no eggs, no eggs, no eggs. But all four eggs are right here. <laughs> Hey, big boy, you okay? <laughs> you okay, Red? How's your tail doing? It's not bad. Not bad at all. Looking good. Looking good, buddy. <laughs> There's his three sons. You guys, can I get those eggs? Thank you. There you are. You okay, Molly? <laughs> yeah, I see ya. I see ya. <laughs> so if that doesn't work with the geese, I'm gonna hatch out some more goslings and then work really hard at getting them bonded to me. You know, like maybe I'll walk around with them with me and hold them like as I'm working around the farm or something like that. You gotta do them from a very young age. But uh, I don't know, that's something. <laughs> I see all the cats watching me. Hey guys. Fuzzy, Mango, Dexter. Oh, I 
I see you, Choke. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. <laughs> Maggie, you okay? Bubbles! <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Here's my buddy Dexter. You know, I'm allergic to cats, eh, guys? All growing up through my childhood, I had asthma. And then as I got older, you know, teenage years, it kind of went away. But I had always had an allergy to short-haired cats. Not long-haired cats, but short-haired cats. I haven't really done too much work in here developing this cat cave. I've been working on this little cabinetry around our security camera system, which has to stay in here. I can't move it but I've been working on completely enclosing it and there's going to be a couple of doors, so that's something. I'm going to do the same thing over there with the electrical panel, just make some kind of a little box with a door so that I can completely close it in. There's my man Chunk. You don't usually like to be picked up, but I've been working on him. And, you know, I'm just giving him a tight hug right now so he can't move. But... You know, he's really soft. Really soft. He must have some Russian blue in his DNA, eh? Because he's the only gray cat and he's super soft. <laughs> you see, he wants to get away. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, buddy. And in the meantime, if you're dreaming about some of the green stuff and grass and leaves, here's a really good video that we did last year, and it showcases some of our big harvest out of our garden. And I thought it was a really great video. It didn't go viral, it didn't get a lot of views, but maybe we can pump it up and help it a little bit, get some extra views out there on the old interwebs. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.